a future chick named Cupcake. from Milwaukee. Girls, banana splits, drive-in movie. Rich, what are you doing? Slowing us down. I just want to take a look as long as we're passing by anyway. Why are we slowing down? To take a look at wild cattle and sheriff rustlers, Fozzie. Somebody want to explain that to me? I mean, like, real quick. Uh, it was my idea, Fonz. To get a look at history in the making. So I, I just pulled this lever. Slow us down. Richie, not that lever! Not one! Well, look on the bright side. What bright side, Cunningham? At least we know the lever works, huh? <laughs> we might as well see where we landed this time. Let me check it out, Fun. All right, what will you use the door, Cupcake? Next time, I promise. Echo in here, Mal. Let's take a look at these monsters, all right? Be careful, Fonz. They look vicious. Cool it, Cupcake. I can hit. We're talking horses here. You know horses? You were afraid of horses, Cupcake? Is that what they are? I've never seen one. Never seen a horse? Don't forget, I'm from the 25th century, Ralph. Well, don't worry, Cupcake. There's nothing to be afraid of. Right, horsey. <laughs> 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 Looks like we're in a stable. But where? And when? Mother Lode Stables established 1841. Wow, just like in the movies. Shooting stars. So this is what the Old West looked like. Well, as long as we're here, let's uh, take a look around. But, but what if we run into Jesse James or Billy the Kid? Or the Golden Gang, or Geronimo. The Mother Load Saloon. Oh, it sounds like the whole town is in there. Also sounds like it's a little rough. You want to let me check this out first, huh? for a laugh. Hey, look, guys, a real wanted poster. Oh, my gosh. Look at that picture. Big Jake? <gasps> but it looks exactly like Fonzie. Howdy, Fonzie. <laughs> so, like, what's going on? Oh, Big Jake. gotten into them. Go on, Rich. Show them. Yeah, show me, show me. Show me what? I think this probably had something to do with it, Fonz. All right, Big Jake. Big, who is this Big Jake? And where did he get my face? I don't know where you got those clothes, Big Jake, but Diamond Sal would know you anywhere. And Fonzie told me he'd never been here before. Oh, uh, excuse me, Miss Diamond Sal, but there must be some mistake. And you're making it. If you interrupt us again, you give us some music. Yeah, you. Piano's over there. Yeah, listen, Diamond Sal. I don't know who this big 
Jake is, but, uh... Hey, he's playing our song. How's about a dance? Well, if it isn't Sheriff Toby Todd. Wow, a real Western sheriff. What brings you here today? I come to arrest him. Ramsey! Arrest me? You fall on the floor or something? I am not Big Jake. Black fun. I think I know how to handle it. But he's not Big Jake. Brilliant defense, Rich. Really excellent. Come on, Jake. You can tell me all about how you ain't you at the jailhouse. to be in your shoes, Big Jake. Looks like your bank robbing and claim jumping are finally catching up with you. Let me clue you in, Sheriff. You got the wrong guy. That's what they all say, Jake. But this whole Arizona territory knows you when they see you. And you're not happy with what they see, either. Hey, Bonds, you gotta get out of there. Hey, no, Rich. We're gonna settle this nice and legal like. We know I'm not Big Jake. Yeah, but that vigilante committee sure doesn't. Let us No way. That'll only make things worse. Please. Stand back. Oh, yeah. I know how to handle this. That crowd will tear Big Jake to pieces if we don't spring him from that cell. <laughs> she doesn't know when to give up, does she? But I thought, I, I mean, I... That's incredible. You can say that again. That's in... But don't. Ramsey! Let me guess. You're Big J. But who are you, and why were you kissing my gal? The bank's been robbed. Big Jake robbed the bank. Big Jake, we gotta go. Let me give you some advice, stranger. Never let me see your face in mother load again. Whoa. I don't think I like Big Jake. We've got to do something. Fonz, you better get out of here, too. Richie's right, Fonz. He must have broken out again. Was you out of jail and the bank robbed? They'll never believe you now. Good point, good point, but I got a plan to clear my name. Or at least my face. Let's go. My jail, he's ruined it. I'll get that outlaw now if it's the last thing I do. Okay now, Ralph, this is the newspaper office. We'll do it just like the Fon said. Remember, we're just three ordinary, everyday prospectors. Hey, my A big gold strike, you say? Yep, the biggest ever. Out at the old bottomless mine. That mine played out long ago. Nothing there but a big hole in the ground now. That's what we thought. And then we found this. A petrified frog? Oops, sorry. There you go. Solid gold. Ralph, your mustache. Oh, thanks, Rich. Yeah, it looks like gold. <laughs> Any claim jumpers could make a fortune by jumping that mine. That's what we want you to print. Ouch! Oh, he just means, uh, he thought you might be interested. Now we gotta go back and dig up a fortune. Come on, Mr. Cool. Right, Ricky! Strange-looking prospectors. It worked, Bond. Lucky for all of us that I always carry a can of gold paint with me, huh? Correct. Now, if Big Jake will just take the bait, I'll clear my name, we'll all go home. I get it. When he comes jump the claim, we'll capture him. Correct the window cupcake. We'll duck in this uh, mining car here while you two wait for him to show. Count on us, Fon. When we see him, we'll tap twice on the car. And you'll jump out and grab him. Oh, you got it. I don't like the sound of this, Rich. Okay, you. Hand over the gold. I don't like the sound of that, either. Word travels fast in Motherlode, friends. Yeah. <laughs> 
So let's have your gold. Whatever you say, Big Jake. Anything. Get him, Fawn. Fawn! Ralph, you tapped too hard. He'll be lost in the bottom of mine. Now about that gold. Think of something, Rich. I am thinking, Ralph. I'm thinking we're goners. What would you say if we told you there isn't any gold, Big Jake? I'd say, say your prayers. <laughs> but there isn't, really. Yeah, what's that? This? Uh, uh, uh. Looks like it might be gold dust to me. Hand it over. <laughs> Bobby, Richie, and Ralph are in trouble. We're not exactly having a picnic in here, you know. Ah, how deep do you think Bottomless is? I think we're talking pretty deep here, Cupcake. Put a lid on your beer cupcake. A little adjustment here, a little adjustment there, man. Uh... Hey, you did it! And I was so nervous, I forgot to use my cosmic powers. Lucky for us. So long, partners! <laughs> He's getting away with those bags of gold dust. Don't worry about that. What about Fonzie? Hey, the Fonzie's fine, Cunningham. In fact, the Fonzie is terrific. He saved us from a bottomless fate. Fun. There really was gold dust, and Big Jake just took it. <laughs> what gold dust? I filled those all with sand and made sure to put some holes in his sacks so we could track Big Jake just in case Ralph of course goofed up. How do you know I'd goof up, Fonz? Experience, Ralph. Experience. So let's get on the trail. <laughs> okay, Mr. Cool, lead on. <laughs> Does it tight? Uh, maybe you better not sniff the trail, cool. I just follow it. Uh, something tells me we're on our own. Why do you say that, Bond? The God for yourself. All right, there it is. Big Jake's hideout. We found it. <laughs> And the idea was terrific, huh? Now to find out what his plans are. Come on. Sand, why it's nothing but sand. If I ever catch that sidewinder again, I'll... Take it easy, Big Jake. There's always the stagecoach tomorrow noon. Oh, that's right, Sal. 10,000 in silver being shipped to Frisco. And it all could be on. Yeah. <laughs> so that's their plan. Yeah. What was that? Probably just the wind. Better not have been that fun, fella, Sal. Relax, Big Jake. He's miles away by now. And it's all set, eh? A stagecoach silver shipment tomorrow at noon. And Creepo Jake is going to be in for a big surprise. All we need is a stagecoach. Come on, Fonz. Where are we going to find a stagecoach way out here? Use your eyes, Cunningham. This? This is our stagecoach? I've seen model airplanes with fewer parts. Well, I think it's a terrific stagecoach. All it needs is a little zapping. Hey, hey, fix yourself up there a little, huh, Mr. Cool? Why, I bet I can have this old stagecoach rolling faster than you can say. Monk Raiders. That's okay, Cupcake. It's a lot closer than you usually get. Right. We're just lucky you didn't turn it into a circus. <laughs> <laughs> Sure, Fonz. Sorry, Fonz.
Hey, you see? Now, that's how we get things done. Hey. Now, can we surprise Big Jake, Fonz? He won't know what hit him. Are you sure this is such a good idea? Perfect, Ralph. The real silver shipment is an hour behind us. It'll be just us and Big Jake. That's real comforting, Mitch. Oh, we meet again, huh, tremendous Jake? It's him! Hey, you can't get away that easy! Suffering Saturn! It's a runaway stagecoach! Don't worry, Cupcake. Bond has everything under control. I deeply appreciate the vote of confidence, Cunningham. But Mr. Cool is driving. Mr. Cool? Care of it, all right, Cupcake. Well, that wasn't quite what I had in mind, Fox. Get back here, you low-down varmint! Oh, craters! We're heading right for Motherload. The sheriff catches Fonzie there. We're all in for it. Big Jake has gone too far this time, men. We gotta stop him for good. Now we can just track him down. That's Big Jake's dog. And there's Big Jake. Cosmic calamity, Spots. It's the sheriff. Hey, easy, easy. One emergency at a time. Runaway stagecoaches are hard on the hair. Bones, I think you better think of something fast. Come on, Jake. Give yourself up. Now, just a minute here, Sheriff. If I'm Big Jake, then who is that? Big Jake? Another Big Jake? I'll just leave you boys to settle this alone. This town ain't big enough for the both of us. Are you asking for a showdown, Big Jake? I knew. I'll be right here with Bill's on. Oh, my gosh. A showdown at high noon. <laughs> Only five minutes to high noon, Fonzie. Well, what do you say we get this over with, huh? That's more like it. You're right on time, stranger. I like to be prompt for all my showdowns, huh? And since you pick the time and the place, I'll pick the weapon. And I pick Lasso. Lassoes? Lassoes? Hmm. They're stranger than I thought, stranger. But I'll take you up on that. Hey, take your best shot, Dumbo. You're asking for it. <laughs> What's going on here? Get back inside, Sal. This here's a showdown between the stranger and me. With lassoes? I hope you know what you're doing, Big Jake. Fonzarelli's twist? Almost perfect, Mr. Cool. <laughs> what happened? There you go, Sheriff. That's your crook. Amazing. How do I get him down? We're talking a snap. <laughs> Maybe you're the man for me after all, Big Fonzie. I've been wanting to do this ever since we met. Hey, put me down. Oh, if that's what you want. Oof, I'll get you for that. How did you do that? Oh, 
it's just a trick I learned somewhere. And this time you didn't goof up there, Coppers. It's amazing what you can do when you really put your mind to it. <laughs> what an adventure. Outlaws, claim jumping, a runaway stagecoach. Yeah, I'll certainly never forget it. <laughs> it looks like Mr. Cool won't either. Way to go, Cool, way to go. Yeah, that's some fancy twirl in there, partner. <laughs> it looks like it's back to the ranch for Mr. Cool and back to Milwaukee for us. 1957, here we come. This time for sure. I hope. Stay in your jammies. Mighty Mouse is coming up next here on TV Land Super Retrovision Saturdays.